Arjun is in a miserable position. That is not the position of Arjun, the person. That is the situation of entire mankind. That is the conflict that we all face daily, every day. So first of all, it is not about Arjun and Krishna. It is not about two persons. Arjun and Krishna are both within us. Krishna is not standing in front of Arjun. Krishna is the heart of Arjun. Good evening, Guruji. Uh, my name is Shashi Ram Prabhakar and I am from Jharkhand, Dhanbad. And currently, currently I am pursuing MTech from NIT Silchar Assam. And my question is like, uh, if I am tired of something and so for, uh, so for that reason, I am in depression. So if I suddenly uh, move away from that place and everything works, started working fine. So after some time, when I come back to my previous stage where I was, uh, where I was staying, so everything goes started same from where it was started. So like, uh, like just like feeling hopeless or an emotional state or reaction. So why does it happen actually? It happens actually. Would you repeat the happening? Like uh, if I'm suffering from uh, in depression or tired of something like any anything, whatever, like study or my uh, financial issues or whatever it, it is. So uh, when I change my place from one uh, place to another place, then everything started working fine. But uh, suddenly when I come back after my previous stage, so it was started same as like where it was started. Hmm. Emotions or all, all those things like. So why does it happen actually? Because of mind of state or what? It happens okay. because the root of the disturbance is within you. Hmm? Temporarily, a change of surroundings helps reduce the disturbance. But mm -hmm. the mere change in external situations uh, cannot help beyond a point. So once again, when the external situations are not conducive, you will find yourself internally flustered. And to make things worse, you probably keep on returning to places that made you flustered in the first place. So it's no surprise that you <coughs> Uh, once again, uh, start feeling uneasy. Have you understood uh, both these points? First point yes. is, yes. first point is that in absence of self-knowledge, we give ourselves very cosmetic solutions, right? We, we try to change the external environment. We say, well, I'm feeling suffocated today in, in this place. So, let's go to a bar and have a drink and try to forget what's going on or let's go to the movie hall and enjoy the latest release or hang out with friends or sometimes we say oh, let me just fall asleep and forget it all these are the kind of things we do right you want to have a change of mood you try a change of shirt now this displays a lack of intention to get into yourself. You do not really want to know what is happening inside, what is the real cause, the root. So the treatments that we offer to ourselves do work for a while and then fall apart. And to but make, Guruji, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, please. But Guruji, actually, but my state of mind is changed. Like uh, I just had a hangout with my friends, just uh, go and uh, enjoy any other place like right now in Himachal. So for that reason, like my state of mind is changed. So why when I back, then everything has started same as like before? Because, because my state of mind is changed now. Because the mind is not just its superficial state. The mind is a deep thing. Right? Almost like the ocean. Winds on the surface change the state on the surface. They do not change what is happening deep within the ocean. And what if a volcano is erupting inside the ocean? How much can then 
the winds on the surface help or affect or matter. But we do not know ourselves. So, all that we know of is the superficial state of mind and that is easy, easy to address. Hmm? Escape away to Himachal with friends and indeed you will feel jolly for a while. Hmm? See how happy you are. <laughs> not that you should not be happy. You should be deeply happy, not superficially happy. Wisdom or spirituality or Vedant, they are definitely pro happiness, but they want you to have happiness that means something. They want you to have a happiness that is not affected or degraded or reversed by worldly losses or random outer happenings. Hmm? Why not go for that kind of happiness? And that kind of happiness is, is difficult to obtain if, if one uses such recipes, you know. Friends, hill stations, a little bit of beer, hanging out, water sports, paragliding. All of these do uh, offer happiness, but how deep is that and how long lasting is that? And we are not talking of depth or permanence for morality's sake. We are talking of these things because we want those things. Don't you want deep happiness? Don't you want the kind of happiness that circumstances cannot take away? You want those things, hence we are talking of them. It is not some kind of morality or idealism. Exactly. Exactly. You want that and I want that and we all want that. And if we want that, then it is our responsibility towards ourselves to go and attain that. Hmm? That is the entire process of wisdom, of spirituality, nothing else. See, you are already afraid that you will return to your place and the old self with all its miseries will re-emerge. Hmm? And even as I mentioned this, see, you have already become a bit nervous thinking of the checkout date and time. The thing is, why log in into the kind of happiness where the checkout date has been set in advance. Sometimes you know the checkout date, sometimes you do not, but it is a kind of hotel you cannot permanently reside in. Exactly. Good. You need real estate of your own, not the hotel of happiness. But that is the kind of names these hotels have, hotel fun, hotel pleasure, hotel paradise. <laughs> Ask them what kind of paradise is this? You keep reminding me of the checkout time <laughs> and if I, if I overstay an hour, then you start subtly threatening me. Sir, you know, sir, we are booked, sir, somebody else has to check in, sir. And if you want to stay for another six hours, sir, why don't you pay half a day's tariff, sir? That is the reality. Uh, that is the reality of this, of this uh, rented happiness. I can only tell you that as a young man, it is surely possible for you hmm, to do better than this, right? Travelling to places is a great thing, but do not travel in search of happiness. Travel in your joy, hmm? 
travel in your deep purpose if you don't have a great purpose in life if you have nothing that keeps you internally joyful and you still keep meandering from place to place it won't uh, mean much i seem to be spoiling your evening no guruji bone fire and whiskey must be waiting somewhere outside right must be cold in himachal especially what should i do to overcome all those things just need to accept or what <laughs> be a real hedonist hmm real hedonist and that means having taste for suffering love the real thing so much that you feel prepared to accept any challenges any degree of hurt the joy that we are talking of you have to fall in love with it you have to be a real pleasure seeker i might not be making sense to you let's let's know that in advance but unfortunately i don't have many other ways to communicate this to you mm-hmm. maybe when you will reflect later in the night today on what we discussed hmm? maybe things mm-hmm. will be uh, clearer to you one mm-hmm. has to be what must i say hardcore hmm? know that you deserve joy and for the sake of joy fight it out know where your real thing lies and don't compromise on it know that it's possible to love and that you are entitled to love i'm talking all in abstractions i can see that but how else do i express myself there is nothing else that would help you except plunging in the in the battle for the real thing that real thing is one but the battles that we all must fight are all separate and individual mm-hmm. you will have your own personal battle to fight i too will have my own battle to fight though we both would be fighting for the one same real thing hmm right yeah. hmm so fight it out and in that fight what you get is blows and hurt and wounds and that makes you man enough to experience real happiness without those wounds and without that hurt you can anyway never know what happiness is happiness does not lie in flimsy pleasures happiness lies in those deep wounds you take for your deep love hmm? and if you keep avoiding those wounds where is real happiness
okay i'll think about it i'll change myself i'm i'm i'm, I'm already having fun visualizing how it would be over the bonfire and probably the cocktail <laughs> i have i have given you enough to anyway make your evening right actually i got i got, I got your point guruji actually what you explained i am not sure i have said something that anybody can get so easily yes actually but a little bit i didn't understand like uh, i have to uh, fight it by myself kind of things like what i feel like i i have to enjoy all those things i have not really said not that like... <laughs> that's just not what i have said yes i like enjoy the happiness kind of thing but it's good that you are intrigued right so mm. so let it let it be there in the mind i think i'll see you again some day maybe a few months down the line or a few decades who knows yes hmm? yes yes we'll def- definitely chalo okay thank you thank you guruji okay thank you thank you so much